Folks, I've had a subscriber ask if you could bring iPhone 5S video into the GoPro Studio and use it along with GoPro Hero 3 video. So I'm going to give this a shot and see. I'm going to open my GoPro Studio. Forgive me that my desktop is so messy. <laughs> so kind of off screen, I'll pull it on for a second. You can see I've shot some video. Here's a piece of GoPro video and MPEG-4, and here's a QuickTime movie. Both of them, I'm pretty certain, probably use H.264 codec, so I think they'll both work. This is just an image I saved from work. I threw it in the same folder. So I'm going to drag the GoPro video over here. I know that's going to work, right? So this is me. I'm looking at my nose holes. Oh, Lord. As I just got out of bed. <laughs> just thought I'd try this this morning. Over here is, uh, let's see, here's the QuickTime movie from the iPhone 5S. So my friend said, could I use, he, he was asking, could he use the iPhone 5S video in tandem with the GoPro Hero 3? Uh, and I think the answer is yes. I think we can see here right quick. Now, here's my cat's socks. And the GoPro video, I'm sure certain is going to work. Let's try to see if the iPhone 5S video works. Oh, not seeing anything yet. What's going on here? Oh, oh, look at this. It looks like it recognizes the video, though, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. We're playing. I'm not hearing anything, though. Turning it up on my speakers. Okay, so maybe uh, it looks like the answer is yes. We can use the video. We can use it as a, a second shot, but we might have to use the audio off the GoPro Hero 3. Let's make sure my audio works good on this. I don't want to look at my own nose holes there. So am I hearing anything here? Interesting. Oh. We've got two cameras, one in my right hand is an iPhone. Okay, so as you can hear there, I, I turned my speakers up just a bit so you could hear that. We are working with this. So it looks like all that's going to have to happen is this, this, uh, these two video clips are going to have to be converted. So you see up here, import and convert before you go to step two. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the directory that this goes to. So I don't want it going into that folder. I want it going into the other folder, which is on my internal drive computer. Help me out here. And here's my internal storage, and I'm going to go down to the bottom, and there's where I'm doing the iPhone versus GoPro test. We'll say OK. So it's going to go into that directory there now. So now I need to go through the conversion process, and I'm going to add this clip to the conversion. And I'm going to get this one. I'm going to add it to the conversion list as well. And I'm going to have both of them go into, uh, I'm going to click down here on advanced settings. 2997, uh, the one was shot at 30. I'm going to leave it 2997, let it convert the other one down just that slight bit if it needs to. And I'm in uh, AVI and medium. I'm not going to remove fisheye or anything from the GoPro. I'm going to say OK for both of these pieces of video. So I'm going to tell it to convert all, and we are going to the correct directory down here. So I'll say convert all. So now hopefully we're becoming video that can be used on. Uh, in this Cineform Studio. Okay, so now I'm back and it looks like both pieces of video have converted and so I can move to step two. Now I have both of those videos here that can be dragged onto a timeline. Now, my friend had asked, could he use it as AB? Well, I don't know of any way in this program which you can do two layers like you can in Premiere. So the answer is you'll have to use, you'll have to kind of synchronize those pieces of video the way you want them synchronized. I'm going to go ahead and just pull a little bit of this uh, one here over to this point and put an end point and maybe put an out point here somewhere. Okay, so now, so now I have my, uh, so I set my end points and out points and I drag it to the timeline here. So there we have socks walking on the table. Now we go over here to this video and look for the point that's sort of after that. And here's socks again. Now we're not hearing the audio on this, right? So we're going to have to use the audio from the other video to make this kind of happen here. But we can use this uh, little bit right here before he starts to jump. And now let's pull uh, this one into the video. Now <clears throat> the problem here again is audio. Uh, what I'm probably going to have to do is, is export the audio from this video so that it covers this one. So we can see if we had a music track or if we're not using the audio at all. Then we've got socks here. We've got the other angle over here. It's just the audio from the uh, iPhone 5S is not, did not convert and will not seem to work 
in the GoPro studio, but the video looks just great. So socks are getting ready to jump. And I'll go, my, not go back to this video now and find the point where he jumps. And there's where we start to go down on the other one. So I'm gonna put an end point here. And I'm gonna put an end point here. And there he goes back to his plate. We'll put this one in, in here and we'll drag the video back down. Again, starting to get confused over which one's which. This is the GoPro vid. So there we go back. Now we can go back to this one and find the point where he goes to his plate. And there's the uh, B roll shot again of that one where he turns back and looks at me. And then I turn back toward the, uh, the, the yard. So let's pull that one back down again. And so there we have a video AB mix using both clips, the one from the 5S and the one from the GoPro. Uh, so how am I gonna like synchronize that audio? I don't know, if I want to use the audio outside like that, uh, probably the way I'm still gonna do it, folks, just to make it simple. And this is, so, this is a harder thing to do in GoPro Studio, as you can see. Let's do a file save on this. And I'm gonna go back <clears throat> to my old trusty standard Premiere Pro. And I'm gonna try to get that into a, a format where you can see it on the screen. So folks, now I'm gonna open a new project here. And I'm gonna do it in Premiere Pro and show you how much easier it is if you have it. So I'm gonna select this folder here and that's where we're gonna go. Um, I'll call this iPhone GoPro. Okay, view is details. I did that conversion a while ago. So we'll see which one is actually which. Here is the original GoPro right here, yes. Yeah, that's not, not an AVI. And then here is the original iPhone, the QuickTime movie, that should be correct. And here we go, importing it. These are, not, these are not the ones I converted. Now, I could use the ones I converted. And now, with this iPhone, I should be able to hear it. Let's check it out and see. Folks, I'm recording socks with a two cameras. So, there we go. I can hear the iPhone on this one, on this one. I can hear the GoPro video. I'm recording socks. There we go. So, let's get, let's get the where I'm saying I'm recording awesome. socks here. I'm recording so I'm gonna start where I say folks. This is what my friends actually ask me if they can do. This and pull that down. I'm pulling the GoPro video down, just pulled it all down. And so I have myself where I'm saying folks. Let's see where I got that. Okay, let's find myself doing folks on the other one. Cameras more video. Okay, pulling this one down on a second on the video two here. So as you can see now, we've got two, and it should sound pretty close. Let's listen. So I'm not sequenced. I'm not sequenced just right. Let's pull this up a little, and we can pull these audio front audio streams down where we can see this. I'm getting that little line right in between. I can see them off a little bit there. Looks like the iPhone is recording a little hotter than the GoPro does, doesn't it? If I'm not mistaken here, how far off am I? Can't be that far off. Let's look here a little closer and see if I can figure out what's going on. What. Let's listen to this one. I'm going to mute the uh, iPhone for a second. I'll start it, folks. I'm going to mute this one for a minute. Aha, I can see. Missed that one a little bit. And maybe just a little bit more. Now I think we're seeing folks on this one. Now let's listen to both these together and see if I'm fairly close. Oops, muted both of them instead of... Okay, I can see here, this is where I should be and this is where I should be, I believe. So I'm gonna pull the iPhone back just a couple more frames. Now that looks pretty dead on. Let's try it now and see what it sounds like. Okay, so now I've got two. I'm gonna save that. I've got two streams. <clears throat> I'm gonna do another new sequence over here. And so I'm gonna call this uh, multi. 
say OK. I'm going to pull the other sequence I just did. It's up here where it, up here where it is, so a GoPro iPhone sequence, and pull it into that. So there's actually two pieces of video here, right? I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say multi camera enable. If I'm going to go to multi camera monitor over here, what I did, I clicked the little uh, wrench, and you can pick which kind of monitor you're monitoring. I'm going to pick multi cam, of course. So now I've got the two angles here, and I can pull this back down, pull this back over if I want to, and I can like do an AB of this, which is what my friend was asking, I think. So let's go ahead and um, play this and record a multi cam of me and socks. I'm recording socks with uh, two cameras. One in my right hand is an iPhone 5S, and the one in my left hand is GoPro Hero 3. I've been asked by a viewer if you could put them both at the same time, use it like the iPhone 5S in GoPro Studio as a B shot, like you could use it in tandem with the GoPro Hero 3. And I don't know, but I have an iPhone 5S. Okay, so once again, we can see here now, it put all my uh, little edits down here, all my little clips, so I should be having a back forth here. If I hit play, uh, we should be able to see this. I'm recording these socks with uh, two cameras, one in my right hand. What well, might be better to do here is to show you the composite view again. Then I could click on this and hit the tilde key, and it's going to show the whole little composition there. The iPhone 5S, and the one in my left hand is GoPro Hero 3. I've been asked by a viewer if you could put them both at the same time, use like the iPhone 5S in GoPro Studio as a B shot, like you could use it in tandem with the GoPro. So, folks, um, I guess my, I'm going to hit the tilde again to get out of this. I guess my quick. Uh, two cents worth here is yes you can do an AB in Adobe uh, Premiere Pro much easier than you can in Cineform Studio uh, or in GoPro Studio and you know maybe someone else who knows a little bit more about GoPro Studio can explain the usages better maybe they know a different trick I'm just telling you that uh, what I usually use GoPro Studio for is just simple editing of one video stream that usually comes from the GoPro I also use it to convert to Cineform, uh, to, or rather to a Cineform codec, um, particularly if I'm using protein video. And I do get a good bit more out of the shadows and really good rich color if I use that protein. Although most of the times you can see here, this is video right now coming out of just the GoPro Hero 3 and it looks great. If I wanted to bring socks out of the shadows and stuff on that, there's plenty I could do just by going to shadow highlights, for instance. Uh, so I'm going to go shadow highlight. And I'm not trying to turn this into a, a, a Premiere Pro advertisement. I'm just here to tell you that Premiere Pro, if you want to do A-B stuff, is, is awesome. It does cost, this is Premiere Pro CC. I subscribe to uh, the professional uh, package, which is like $49 a month. And a lot of people shudder at that, at that notion. But I do a lot of creative stuff with it, and I make money with it. I make you know ten times or more every month uh, than what I pay for this. If you're paying fifty, if you're paying a hundred dollars a month for cable uh, to to watch television, and most people who are really creative will go ahead and spend fifty dollars a month. Uh, I mean, it comes with everything: Photoshop, uh, Adobe InDesign, Illustrator, Acrobat Pro, um, you know, Bridge, and of course Premiere, After Effects. You get all that for. $49 a month and so to me it's very much worth it and uh, it's a big you know because it's lucrative for me um, and, and if you can learn that package there's a lot of money to be made if you, if you become good at it so anyway uh, yeah you can make a B happen and you just you just can't you can't uh, clearly to me convert the sound what you might do if you were in GoPro studio is just to export the audio track and use it as like a music track where they have the uh, the bottom, if we remember where we were a while ago. Uh, let's pull the GoPro Studio back up. What I was th thinking you could do is maybe uh, from your media, you could pull just the sound from this one in as a uh, audio track. See so if you can export that, maybe export all the audio and then drag an audio track in. The problem is going to be how are you how are you going to synchronize this to this just by guessing because you can't hear the audio inside of GoPro Studio from these um, movies, MOV files, even after conversion. 
So, you know, my quick, my quick thought is that if you want to do A-B shooting, your video will work. As you can hear, the audio won't. If you're not going to use the audio, maybe you're just going to put a music track under all this and mute it, then it would work just fine. But my recommendation is you want to do A-B, go ahead and do it uh, with the uh, Premiere Pro solution, and you're going to be much more happy and get a lot more done faster and be able to get that video out to the world and people enjoy it. Peace to all folks. I know this is a little bit of a lengthy and rambling video, but hopefully it's answered the question. And uh, please, you know, send me any other questions. You're giving me great ideas for videos. Subscribe to the channel if you like. Hopefully I'm helping, uh, helping you folks make decisions about how you're going to process and work with your video. Cheers.